Hello and welcome into an indie delight. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a series where we feature and play through free indie games. And today I'd like to present to you Necronomicon by Nowis337. I was drawn to this game because it looked like there was a pun and I love puns. And it seems to entail some kind of like ritualistic cooking aspects to it. So you and I, let's get cooking. <laughs> This book I found at the old trinket store. I could not believe what was on the cover. Symbols identical to those that appeared in my dream. It wasn't just any other dream. It was vivid. Uh, okay. You see these uh, these things in your dreams? They feel like uh, ritualistic things. Visions, odd shapes I've never seen before, etched deep into my memories. There were voices whispering in an eldritch tongue beyond my comprehension. The feeling of a presence that lurked beyond the thin veil of reality. I also really like the fact that there was like little whispers. It reminded me of this game called Hellblade Senua. And that whole point of that game is to hear voices in your head. It's like, are you, it, it makes you doubt yourself. And it's a really cool experience. And I'm excited for part two of that game. Its grasp reached through and tugged at the strings of my thoughts as my mind slowly unraveled. What did it all mean? My fascination soon turned into desperation. Will this book contain what I've been searching for? This may be the answer. The purpose of life I've been seeking for since moving into this new city two months ago. Where did you move to? The name of this book? The Necronomicon. <laughs> Complete the rituals of the Necronomicon. What's in the ne Necronomicon? This book contains a collection of eldritch rituals used to contact ancient beings of another world. The ancient ones possess powers unfathomable by a meek human mind. Perform these dark spells at your own peril. I like that there's at least a little warning written in English though. I wonder if it knows how to translate whoever's reading it. Like, you know, does it translate to different languages? Conjure eldritch flame. Uh, calls forth a mystical flame that connects this world from the realm of the ancient. Okay, uh, an Oba, an Aie, an Ore. So we have to use one, five, and six, and an enter. Uh, cultist hot tips. Use to delete chant. <laughs> I like that there's a cultist hot tip there. Like the cultist is like, oh, maybe somebody's might reading this. Might be interested to know how to uh, uh, cancel it, you know? Wear a ritual amulet. Light the candles around the magic circle and chant the following. Okay, Oba, Aie, Ore. So one, five, six. Okay. So let's do that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I, I, I like how this creepy cloak thing just ha happens to be there. Is this me? All right. Uh, we did that without having to use the, the thing. Okay. Here we go. One, five, six. Flame. It's working. A green flame appeared. Looks like I'll need to prepare a few extra things for the next ritual. Oh. Okay. We have a cookbook now. Um... Suppress the madness. <laughs> Recover some of your sanity. Delay the inevitable. Oh, is that the sanity meter that I have? If you're reading this, there is no turning back. The connection to the other realm will slowly drain your sanity. To regain some of your sanity, view your reflection in the mirror and chant the following. Uh, Leong rule Obra. Okay, so two, four, two, one. All right, okay. All right. Interesting that you are going to regain your sanity. Four, two, one. Enter. Ah, okay, all right, all right, we're getting there. Uh, savor the depths. I feel like there's like a time limit here, which is forcing me to go through these rituals. Okay, reach further into the depths with your mind. Let the other realm reach into you. Oh, okay. Uh, cleanse your hands at the start. Am I supposed to use the hand sanitizers as there? Uh, prepare two ingredients of the ritual, knife and add it into the pot. Stir the pot twice. Add seasoning once uh, and wait for the pot to boil. Chant the following. 6153. Okay. Or, ore, obra, aie, e. 6153. Okay. <laughs> it's like ritualistic cooking mama. Oh, that's hilarious. That is... He's using a Chris dagger too. Oh, it's the one that um, Rumpel used in Once Upon a Time. It's like this dagger that has like little swerves and everything. It's really cool. So it's boiling... We're adding the ingredients. Oh, the, the the thing turned green. We're adding more ingredients to this. Uh, I wonder if he likes cucumbers. So stir once, stir twice. Uh, and then I believe it's 6153. Something went wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, wait for the pot to boil. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. Uh, 6153. Okay, so let's start the ritual again. Uh, all right, so... Let me take my dagger. Let me insert the ingredients of the pot. I believe there's two of them, right? And I'm supposed to wait for it to boil. I think I might have, um, I might have, uh, boiled it too much. 
you know? Let's wait for you to boil, and let's go four, two, one. Oh wait, I think I messed up again. Uh, so I'm supposed to hand sanitize. I'm supposed to take my the knife, and I'll take these. I'll put them into the pot. I'll put about a uh, nice two heapings in, and I'll add some salt. And I'll stir once. I'll stir twice, and three times, the lady. I'll wait for it to boil. All right, just just stay there. Oh, I messed up again. All right, all right, I messed up. Let's do it again. Hand sanitize. Uh, we're gonna add the carrots in. And we're gonna add the cucumbers in. And I believe I'm supposed to stir twice. Yes, and then add seasoning once. Okay. All right. I like how our character is like being driven mad first. All right. Anything else that I missed? Wait for the pot to boil. Enchant the following. All right. I like that Cthulhu. Oh, okay. Uh, six, one, five, three. Otherworldly vegetable skewers. <laughs> I like that the Cthulhu passed by. And I look at the skewers. It's like little tentacles. It's like little Cthulhus. Oh, that's so cute. What an unusual ritual. What did I just create? It looks like dinner. I should move on to the next pages. <laughs> Face your nightmares. Don't worry, it's not real, but don't let it get too close to you. From this point on, odd visions are not uncommon. It's all in your mind. Nightmares will start stalking you while you're looking away. Drive them away with spells. When it's close enough, look directly at it and chant the following. 264. I see you. I know you're there. A change of taste. Open your mind and embrace a change. Get out of here, you. Uh, wear the mask for the ritual. Do not wear the amulet. Cleanse your hands at the start. Prepare one ingredient and add it to the pot. Okay. Uh, I'm supposed to cleanse my hands. Prepare one ingredient and add it to the pot. Season one. Hello, you. Get out of here. And then uh, prepare the ingredient and add it to the pot. Uh, season once, repeat steps two and three of the previous ritual, which is... Uh, I feel like I should uh, write these down. So prepare ingredients to the rituals and add it into the pot. Stir once. Uh, cleanse your hands at the start. Prepare one ingredient and add it to the pot. Prepare one ingredient. Add it into the pot. Uh, season once, and then prepare steps two and three, and this. Hello, mofo. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and then wait for the pot to boil, uh, and then one, two, one, five, three. One, two, one, five. Three. Oh, fork me. Okay, so let's prepare. Yes. Season once. And then prepare two ingredients. One more. And stir twice. One. Two. And then it's one, two, one, five, three. Wait for it to boil. That smell, I can't resist this taste. What's happening to me? I feel strange. I feel like the ingredients are getting creepier. Oh, is that me? Is it be, am, I, am I becoming Cthulhu? The ancient ones will awaken soon. Not long until you reach the end. Don't worry, the visions are not real. Your mind is struggling with the incomprehensible. You'll find your answers. Keep going, you're almost there. 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 Final course. Oh no. So this one, we're supposed to cleanse our hands at the start, prepare the two ingredients and add them to the pot. Add seasoning once, stir the pot twice. Repeat steps two, three, and four. Before the pot boils, chant the following. Five, one, two, three, four, six. 
five, one, two, three, four, six. Okay. We're going to prepare two ingredients, which we required, right? Oh, our hands have changed. Uh, and then two ingredients. And I believe it is season once. Stir twice. And then do it again. And one more time. Oof. And then season once. And then stir twice. Oh, oh no! I think I, I I didn't read the recipe carefully. It says, do not wear a mask. Do not... Uh, do not have any candles lit. Sanitize. Right, ready? Add ingredients. One. Two. Stir twice. One more time. All right. And ingredients. Stir once. Stir twice. Five, one, two, three, four, six. A non eclurian stew. <laughs> Incoherently mumbling. Okay, our character has now turned into the eldritch ritual, uh, eldritch language. Meanwhile, in another realm. <laughs> it's Cthulhu just sitting on the thing. Oh, is he making these? <laughs> oh no, he's writing down his recipes. Hear me, ancient one. Please show me the answer. What do those dreams mean? What is my purpose? I prostrate before you today as your humble servant. Oh, ancient one, bless us with your power. Because it was like, I was just hungry. <laughs> Screams of insanity filled the city as it burned. The sky is warped into geometry of the universe unraveled. Maybe this was my true purpose, to unknowingly bring forth the end of the world. <laughs> the end of this reality. There's another reality. All right. I like that. I like the, the fact that you kept going this way, going, going that way. It kind of felt like a horror elements to it, but it was really nice. It was like some kind of like uh, uh, wholesome elements to it as well. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of An Indie Delight. Your company is always a pleasure to have. Today we looked at Necronomicon by Nowis337, and I quite enjoyed that one because it felt like there was like some kind of horror elements to it, along with the timer, which kind of made me freak out. I was like, oh, am I doing the rituals correctly? I like that there's, as it grows as you keep going and your character slowly starts to slip into this kind of like universe. Um, and I wonder if there are other Necronomicons out there that can summon Cthulhu in different universes, because it says at the end of this game it's the end of our reality like what happens to our character do we keep making more food for for uh uh cthulhu there i like that he was shopping at the end he's like oh uh this food seems nice and this food seems nice <laughs> I also like the the image of Cthulhu somewhere in like a deep dimensional universe, like a deep dimensional black hole, just sitting there in his little stub. You'd think that he have like a grander place, right? On his computer going, okay, time to destroy the world. <laughs> if you would like to go check out this game, the link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you again for joining me. Until the next Indie Delight, always take care. Bye.